What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Cooley Be Cool in the building. Y'all already know, man. I'm bringing y'all another epic video today, man. Today is not good news. I can tell y'all that much, man. Black Beauty is scarred again. You know what I'm saying? That's. I mean, I can't really say it too much more or too much less. But I can explain to y'all, and I'm going to show y'all how it happened. And I'm finna try and get it fixed before Shot Town Show and Go and um, Stun the Jam, man, because... I can't ride the car like this, but I got to go handle some business in it today. So it is what it is. We're going to ride with it like that, man. And that's going to be that, man. So, you know, y'all know what to do with this video, man. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. And let me show y'all what I done did, man. Black Beauty got a mega black eye now, man. God damn, man. The damn marker light broke, y'all. The mounting pieces broke on there. Then they got the dangling on the expressway. And boom, saw it shattered, dead off. You know what I'm saying? So now I need a whole new headlight bezel because this is all one piece. So it can have the mounting brackets. And then I need a new marker light like what's on this side right here. So it is what it is, man. The reason that happened and that's what I'm gonna get to today a little bit more in this video is the goddamn front tires, I guess, dry rotted. You know what I'm saying? So now I needed new front tires. So when I'm on the expressway driving, it was juke, 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 shaking, doing all this, you know what I'm saying, real hard. So I'm like, damn, I saw the light pop out as I was driving, like, damn, my, my, my light just popped out, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, you know what? Let me try and hurry up and make it over to the crib so I could go ahead and try and figure out how I can mount it in or whatever. About maybe two minutes later of driving, boom, flew dead off, splattered everywhere, pissed me dead off, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is, man. That's one thing about these old cars, you know, you're gonna run into problems here and there. I mean, it's old equipment, you gotta upgrade certain stuff like that. You know, like I said, I switched the back tires out, then I guess the front tires was dry rotted also, so. I mean, ordered up some new tires, so I'm about to go head up, meet up with my brother, because he just picked them up for me, and then we're going to head to the shop and go ahead and get them mounted up, and hey, man, Black Beauty is getting cranked up this weekend, y'all, so y'all stay tuned for that video coming, man. More parts dropped. They're about to get installed. Car going to get tuned, so y'all stay tuned for that, man, so see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, man. I ain't even want to bore y'all with me picking the tires up and everything like that, you know, with my brother. But let me go ahead and show y'all the tire size I went with, man. So the front tires are now, I think y'all can see that. I hope y'all can see that. But they 215, 75-15s. Compared to, let me show y'all the size that was on there before. Okay, the size that was on there before was... 235 60 15. So, first of all, I want to shout out my man's on Instagram, the freak GN. You know, he the one that told me about that tire size that he got on there. And I like the way his car was sitting on the stance and everything, the way the front tires look real kind of small. And it just gave it more of an offset look. And he also told me that I should go with the 275 60s in the back. So, probably gonna end up switching these in the back man cuz um the stance on his national is a1 and if y'all ain't seen it go on Instagram type in the freak GN y'all to see why he call it a freak and that thing that thing is crazy like I mean it get down I mean black beauty gonna have to eventually get to that to that level soon you know what we gonna do it to do and see what we have with what I got to do man but man I ended up catching a double bubble on this vlog today man pulled up some real nice and sexy over here man so y'all gotta stay tuned and i'm gonna show y'all that and then once black beauty get the new meats on the front show y'all how she look in there all right y'all like i said man black beauty about to get done right there but we got another sexy black beast over here to the left that i got to show y'all man and man to me this car is flawless i ain't really looked all the way around it but this thing is suited and boot it to the T. When I say head to toe, everything touched on it, that's exactly what's going on on this one, man. So let me shut up and show y'all this thing, man. Woo! 
Y'all see the veil? Y'all see this thing, man. Let's get dead to it right here, man. Four Giottos on here. Big, big brakes. Big, big, big brakes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see up in there. Let's see if y'all can see up in there. Foil lockers. Exhaust done up. I mean, look look how wet and straight this body line is on this thing. Look how straight that body line is on here, man. Show y'all the insides of it. Y'all see SS doors. Got that Oreo combination going on up on here. Got the Oreo combination going on on this thing, man. Super nasty. Super nasty. Man, let's get on the inside and show y'all this. As y'all can see, man, he got the big Holly screen in here. Big screen. Four Giotto wheels going crazy in here. Leather so soft. I guess this is something to do with the music. I ain't never seen that, but y'all see the cigarette light and everything. I mean, kick panels over here in the corner. Track, track, track. More kick panels over here. Y'all can see hairliner, her hairliner done up. There's also music in here. Y'all see how the back deck was done. Straight customs, I think, did some music on here, the music installation and everything on here. Back deck nice and clean. One thing I must say about this car is, I like the way he kept it simple and subtle but on the inside. Still did the little touches with it to make it custom and stuff like that, but for the most part, it still got like the original type feeling going on up in here, you know? Even from the shifter. The shifter and everything. All original. This dash though, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This dash right here, it's the move. I like this. I like that. Uh, that that's definitely the move. So y'all, y'all here. Doors closing real smooth and soft. That's how y'all know you got a solid car, man. Let me show y'all the front. Six pistons on the front, man. Six pistons on the front. I know y'all can see all in the frame wells and everything, man. This car clean is a whistle. Clean as a whistle, man. This a bad bitch right here, man. This one bad bitch. And I'm about to show y'all what make it even more of a bad bitch than what it already is on look wise, man. Y'all see that? Woo! Woo! Two snails on this thing. Not one but two snails on this thing, man. Two persistent turbos on here, man. Now, when I say this combination look like it is done up so clean, if y'all look around, you don't see any wires anywhere. Braided hoses, all through here. Right, right, right. Everything is ran immaculately clean. I'm going to try and move the camera slow so y'all really can get a good look at everything. But braided, connected, braided, connected. You know what I'm saying? Then he kept it nice. Look, even the coil relocators on here too. You know, I mean, damn. I mean, even the, the turbo plumbing pipe coated. Like, got the blankets on there too. I mean, AC working here. So that might be something where the control is up in there. But, so the AC blowing in here too, man. Got the Holly low rise on here too. I mean, look at the turbo, the plumbing and everything that's done under here, man. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, you about to get on the vlog, my man. What up? Long time no see. Man, what's you know up, what? I man? Have one of those, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we got we got to get you on there, man. Well, you know what? You know what? You know what? I take that back. You know what I'm saying? Mine's a cutlass. 
Oh, yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. This, the cutlass like that. We got to get you on here, man. That bitch is mad hard, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, you look she like a, a monster. skunk in this bitch, boy. Hey, you know man, I call her the black Oreo. You know Why the black on that? I'm a, you right, black skunk. The black it. skunk, man. <laughs> Motherfuckers do like this when they see it. Ooh, oh, you right. That, hey, that's the yeah, name yeah. of that. That the ugly skunk, look. Man. Yes, sir. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that bitch hard. I'm about to get back over here and finish blogging this though. Huh? This no, I wish. I wish. In the cool in here too, man. Tuck nice in here. Y'all see it. Y'all won't even notice the in the cooler unless you to really walk up on here. Then you got the headlights with the track, LEDs track, track, track. around here. Like it's just one of them cars to where you just do simple subtle touches. And he did overdo it and clown it out. And I mean, shit, underneath him says it all. I mean, try, try, try. I don't know what size the block is, but it, I'm pretty sure it gotta be either 427, 454, or 396, or something, 376, or something, 388. I don't know what's going on under here. I don't know the cubic inch on here, but I guarantee this thing making well over a thousand for the tire, man. Got to. Got to, I mean, because everything done on the top, man. Let's see if we get down low. Y'all see, stretching all the way together and everything, man. Like, this a beast. This is a beast, man. You got the 454 SS things on there. Hey, you might be LS 454 under there. Who knows? Who knows? But like my man say, black skunk. You know what I'm saying? Does it make you do what? This thing all the way done up though, man. Just so y'all know too, y'all see the paint wet, the wheels wet, interior nice and classy. Underneath the hood, crazy. Y'all seen the back deck with the subtle things and stuff like that. We ain't even done showing y'all this thing, man. Let me get to the next thing. Open up what they call the jury box, you know what I'm saying? And let y'all see up under here, man. Y'all see how it's done here. That's how y'all know it's clean, man. Still got the original stickers and stuff like that in here. Nice subtle. And that's who did the music, like I told y'all, man. Extreme custom. I like the way all this is done. Like everything, the last everything just clean. Like it's one of them builds to where, like, when you get certain cars, you don't have to overdo stuff. You know what I'm saying? You just, you put your little flavors here and here on upgrading it, but you don't want to rig the whole car crazy. And I mean, this one is definitely one of them that y'all can't say is ain't nasty. I wish the owner was here because I definitely want to catch some foolie footage of this thing, man. But he ain't here right now. And if Black Beauty get done before it's over with, I got to go because I got other stuff I got to handle for today, man. So y'all already know what I want y'all to do, man. Drop in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about the Black Skunk. Yeah. I switched the name up. I called it Oreo. My man's had the perfect name for this car, the Black Skunk, because it definitely make you turn your face sideways when you see this thing, man. Definitely, man. So y'all already know what to do with this video, man. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, make sure that notification bell on so every time I drop a video, y'all know. And shout out Extreme Customs for call for letting me come vlog this bad sexy thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to bring y'all all the nasty, nasty cars on here. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can't say nothing. Nothing. I mean, man, let me see. Matter of fact, the keys is in there. Let's see if I can light up this dash one time for y'all. Light up this dash for y'all. Y'all see the holly. God damn, I love this dash. No, that's nasty. I love this dash. Got the carbon fiber accents around here, too. God damn. Woo! That's perfect. Flawless, man. Flawless, man. See if I can get them to come out here and fire it up so y'all can get the sound of the outside and everything. And we can go ahead and fire this thing up for y'all. 
so y'all can head, man. Had a pump going in, let that holly load all the way up. Y'all know I'm in the power crazy. That's the icing on the cake for me, man. We got to rethink how we coming on Black Beauty, y'all. Damn. Whew. Like I said, if I ain't said before, man, Steve, definitely appreciate you for letting your boy come on down here and vlog this car. I've been trying to catch footage of this car for the longest. Been seeing it on all over the internet here and there. And just to see it in person and really get to bring it to the channel and everything. So all my subscribers and everybody like y'all that love this content, y'all able to see it too, man. Much love on, you know, making your boy slide down here and get this thing. But this, man, I'm in love with this car, y'all. That's all I can say, man. Just to let y'all know, man, y'all know Stunner Jam coming up next week on the 1st. Y'all already know that's one of the biggest car shows out here in Chicago. So if you're sitting around and you're ready to get mounted up, it's only one place that got this many Volanos, Forgiatos, rims just in general in stock for you, ready to mount up right now, man. No wait, y'all can see. Right here, you got a Mero, Volano ready for you right there can't go wrong with them sticks man like they say sticks on everything man shot town type wheel you know for a Benz for a Chevy another Benz another Benz y'all see this going on a Chevelle y'all see that soon nice 12 20 was 22 by 12 on there Man, they overloaded on the V's out here. Y'all see sixes for the Chevy. Y'all see Black Beauty over there getting worked on. You know, she'll be ready in a minute. But, man, this the place to come, man. They got all of them in stock. Extreme Customs. Wheels and electronics. Right here on the 159th, man. I'm going to get a business card so y'all can see the address and everything. If y'all need to know where to come. Come from out of town or in town or wherever you need them boys right now you don't want to wait that six weeks anything like that man they're gonna take care of you man and my people oh, track, 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 track. 